Olivia Wilde directs and stars in Don't Worry Darling, a psychological thriller that keeps you on your toes, keeps you guessing until the final moments of the film. But do the questions posed in the film pay off in the end? Oh, we're gonna find out right now. The movie stars Florence Pugh, Harry Styles, and Chris Pine, but let's be honest, this is a Florence Pugh vehicle through and through. This thing is living and dying by her performance, and it's impeccable. Harry Styles has been taking a lot of grief online about this movie. You may know him from a little boy band he used to be in. I thought he did really well here. I don't know what the big fuss is about. Sure, when he's going up against Florence Pugh, it's, it's obviously a losing cause. She's acting circles around him but he is holding his own decently enough. I'm not gonna string you along. I didn't hate this movie, but it really falls apart at the end. This is a spoiler-free video. I'll probably do a spoiler one later on, a couple of days from now, so subscribe if you haven't. If you wanna stick around, that'd be great. I do tons of movie reviews, rants, reactions, things in the movie space. I think you'd, I think you'd have a good time here if you tried it out. I'm not so sure I can say the same thing about this film. This movie's stupidly long. It's like a half hour longer than it should be and it's a slow burn, but that burn is nice. There's good stuff going on, there's intrigue, I'm invested in the characters, so I'm along for the ride until we find out what's behind the curtain. Who's pulling the strings or what or why or how or, I mean, most of that's not explained. It makes no sense if you even think about it for a second. Man, the last half hour is just a disaster. Now, I went with two other people. One agreed with me, the other one, a, a buddy of mine that I see all my movies with now, he actually disagreed with me wholeheartedly, not half-heartedly. He put the whole heart out there. He said, Adam, you're wrong. This movie's fantastic. So obviously what's really going on in this movie is going to work for some and not for others like myself. From a technical standpoint and somewhat superficial, I think Olivia Wilde does a good job here. I noticed some color grading issues. The people I went with didn't seem to notice, but there was a couple scenes, especially early on, where I thought some of the skin tones, some of the lighting, it looked a bit off from shot to shot, and there was a lot of blurriness, out of focus. That part could have been intentional, but it didn't read well on the eyeballs. Where this movie really succeeds for me is the sound design and the score. That stuff is fire. The cracking of eggs, like very over the top sound effects. Someone was having a great time getting their paycheck making those sound effects. And then of course, another amount of praise should be heaped onto the shoulders of Florence, who does really do the heavy lifting in this film. It's again just a shame this movie ends up going the direction it does because all the slow buildup, all the interesting concepts and ideas fall flat on their face when you see what's really happening and then nothing really adds up at all. It's tough because I do want to encourage people to go out and see movies like this that are different, that are trying to take some chances even if they fall on their face at the end. Another part of me is like, uh, things are expensive. There's a lot of media out there. We only have one chance on this planet. Maybe don't waste it watching this movie. Save it for streaming in the background. I, I don't know. It's up to you. If you like going to the movies all the time and you just want to get out and see something that might pique your interest, it will keep you invested, it will keep you guessing, then this is a great film for you. However, if you're looking for something that's going to blow your socks off and it's absolutely a must watch, this is not that. It's also not the complete dumpster fire disaster that people were assuming it would be. I thought it was going to be a train wreck going in. Pleasantly surprised, but ultimately disappointed. Those are my thoughts on the movie. If you saw it, let me know in the comments below without spoiling anything. I'd love to hear from you. Like the video if you had some fun. Please think about subscribing once again if you haven't already. I put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into this channel. It would be great if it kept growing. Please join me. And with that, hopefully I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching the video and for sticking around. Maybe join me on Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies. There's a dollar tier, a $5, a $20, whatever you want to give is great. If you go to the top tier, you can even recommend a movie I have to review. I'm also at Twitch at Adam Does Movies, not only playing video games, but I'm also talking movies, I'm also editing, filming there, and we're even going to attempt a movie watch where I'm going to roast the crap out of something live. So check me out on Twitch and join the Discord while you're at it. Adam Does Movies.